Okay, I'm feeling behind on so many things, telling myself to stay grounded in the present moment and take care of what I can take care of one by one. Apologies for not having made a video in a while, but I'm here now. Proposal submissions for this summer's IOCDF conference on hoarding were due February 3rd. I'm proud to say I didn't go down to the wire on the deadline. I submitted two and a half days before the deadline and it felt so good to get it done with time to spare. I made sure to hit the record button in my head to reinforce that good feeling so that in the future, I remember why it's good to not wait to the last minute on things. And now time to share more about working with Clutter Buster Brooks Palmer. Knowing that I'm very challenged when it comes to getting rid of anything that still has remaining utility, I chose to work with him on something that seems so trivial and insignificant but it's an issue for me. Hair bands. I have coarse, heavy hair that puts hair bands to the test. They usually get stretched out pretty quickly. Brooks asked me how long it usually takes for that to happen, I guessed maybe after a week or so. But after it's stretched out, I'll just wrap the band around my hair more times and keep using it. I actually want the bands to break so that I have no choice but to throw them out. If it's left up to me to decide whether or not to toss them, I don't. A little stretched out? Okay, not that big of a deal, but this is ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous, and yet I keep using them when I don't really want to. I also share with Brooks how sometimes I spend time with people I don't care for that much, and sometimes I'll eat food that I don't like that much just because I don't want it to go to waste. To which he said, so I think you might have a hard time saying no. But it's good to recognize that because otherwise you're going to berate yourself for not being able to make a change. And that itself is clutter. You recognize I want to not keep using these stretched out hair bands. I want to not eat food that I don't like. I want to not spend time with people I don't care for, but sometimes I still do. Brooks recommended to try saying, sometimes I'm not going to be able to do what I think I should do and I'm not alone. He further explained, because you may be whipping yourself for not being able to do these things you think you should do, but the majority of the people in the world have the same condition, like the whole thing with New Year's resolutions. This year I'm gonna start doing X or I'm not gonna do Y anymore. Even though we know what's good for us or we think we know what's good for us, sometimes we can't do that. Sometimes we know that if we do something, it's gonna hurt us and we still do it anyway. It's part of the human condition. It's part of human nature, so maybe it's not your fault. Maybe it's part of being a person. People have things they want to stop doing, yet they keep doing, and they feel that getting angry at or frustrated with themselves is going to help change that. Brooks added, I think sometimes it's learning to love yourself as you are, because when you tell me I keep wearing this hairband and I can't stop wearing it, or I want to throw this out and I can't throw it out, I'm not sitting here thinking, geez, why can't she do that? What's wrong with her? There's no thought like that in my head. It's just, I understand you're feeling stuck with that. By this point, I'm in tears and I say, yes, but then the stuff sitting around is hurting me. Brooks agreed with that. He said, yeah, it does hurt you, no doubt about it, but the even deeper pain is caused by, I should be able to do this. I'm not doing this. Something's wrong with me. That's a deeper cut. So it's recognizing that hurts more than the other thing. I actually dislike seeing the hairband stretched out, but I put up with it. Brooks asked me, what would happen if you let the stretched out hairbands go and bought new hairbands? I answered, the new hairbands will become stretched out just the same anyway, so throwing them out feels wasteful. Like I'd be using more hairbands than I need to. I know it sounds silly, it's that whole waste thing, and I think it's feeling like I'm a waste or something. Then he reminded me of our earlier consultation conversation. He said, since you do care about the environment and you do care about others, if you're going to be unhappy, that does have a way of bringing things down and making the surroundings kind of thick, you know, like stagnant. When people are upset or unhappy, it spreads. So if you want to use that feeling of wanting to help others and to spread a good feeling in the environment, then you could say, I'm going to get a bunch of hair bands. I'm going to wear one for a week and then let it go because that would be nice for myself. That would be treating myself. That would show myself that I love myself, that I care. Because I recognize I don't like it when they're stretched out. 
on some level, it makes me uncomfortable. Brooks asked me how it felt thinking about doing that, and I answered, no pun intended, it sounds like a stretch for me to do. Even that small gesture to be that kind to myself. To which he said, I always feel the best way to clutter bust is to do a little at a time. That's how I found change actually happens. A little bit goes a long way. It has an impact. We're talking here and there's a part of you that feels unhappy with the way things are. So maybe it's worth giving this a try and just seeing how it feels. It's an experiment because whatever you were doing before wasn't working. A lot of things in our environment wear out. It's how it is currently. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. If we live with things that aren't serving us, that we don't like, that bother us, then it's like living in a landfill. It's like living in trash. You're worth not living in trash, and everybody benefits when you're not living with trash. It really makes a difference to help yourself help others, and to hurt yourself hurts others, because we're all intimately connected on a deeper level. This experiment is a little bit, but it's worth considering trying something new. You may feel resistance. You may feel, no, I want to wear it past a week. And it may start to stretch out and that may bother you again. But I think a lot of what we're talking about today is giving yourself a break. The deeper clutter is feeling something's wrong because you're not able to do these things you think you should be able to do. And I would like you to consider that there's nothing wrong with you. A lot of it is the human condition. If that could maybe start to sink in, perhaps that could sink in by trying the new thing with the hair bands, then maybe there could be some bigger change that could result from that. A lot of this is habit. You've had a habit of living this way for a long time. It takes a little while for a habit to drop off. That's why we're talking about it in this really small way. It's not like I got to change my whole life around or I got to really start loving myself. That's too much to ask for all at once but maybe I can make a few small changes. And it isn't like you've got to throw out the hairbands after a week. It's just giving these little things a try and letting them sink in. We're just questioning some things that have been part of your life for a while without saying you're wrong or anything or that you have to do something different. You're not alone and it's not your fault. We're taught that other people and stuff is more important than us. We see it in advertising and movies all the time. You should have a number of things in your life and you're supposed to be really nice to other people. Most of the time, we all pretty much end up believing there's something wrong with us, that we're not enough. And the only way we're going to be enough is if people like us. And then you come second. People are constantly putting themselves second. I'm just saying you can call that into question. I think it all comes back again to this is who I am. In some ways, I wish I wasn't like this, but this is who I am right now. And wouldn't it be nice if I could just love myself as I am without having to be anything other than as I am right now? Maybe that means I'm not able to get rid of something that I think I should get rid of. Or maybe it means I should be more loving to myself and I'm not. And recognizing this is what's happening to me right now. Because the berating and criticism never make you a better person. It never inspires. So that's why we're talking about doing these little things even though you might not want to and find many reasons not to do it, still doing it. Getting extra hairbands and letting one go after a week. Maybe you don't feel like doing it. Maybe you keep a hairband for two weeks, but then you let it go after two weeks. It's just considering and trying these things and recognizing when you're critical of yourself, stepping back and saying, this is how I am right now. If I could be otherwise, I would but I'm influenced by numerous things. I'm influenced by my genetics. I'm influenced by my parents when I was growing up. Like so many factors made me who I am. I think it's just worth trying things on and seeing how they feel without the feeling that you have to do these things. And maybe it takes a while for change to happen. Maybe it's not that comfortable at first. And maybe it's using that notion that resonates for you of how when you take care of yourself, you affect the environment in a positive way. When you're feeling better, it's like sunshine in some ways. Sunshine for others and for the earth. So maybe that helps inspire you. We also talked about some old VHS tapes, but this video is already long enough, so I'll share about those another time. After our session, I thought about the stretch out hair bands and decided I don't wanna keep using them. Even though technically they do the job, 
I don't like seeing them all stretched out like this. I'm okay with letting them go because I would like to treat myself better. I want to do something nice for myself that would show myself that I love myself and that I care. It felt really good to be okay with that decision. I wasn't forcing myself to do something I felt I should do. Also, after my session with Brooks, I decided to donate some clothing and a rolling suitcase to an organization that helps the homeless. Maybe that's what Brooks was talking about, how taking a small action ends up having a bigger impact. I'd been grappling with letting go of the suitcase for a long time, but I had this moment of clarity and decided to go with it. Some of the clothing was given to me by my mother. She likes dressing very nicely and gave me some of her clothes that are too small for her. A number of the pieces just aren't my style. They're her style. So I wasn't wearing them, but I held on to them just because they were good quality and my mother paid a lot for them. I hope my mother's nice tops and sweaters are now keeping someone in need warm, or maybe they're being worn to a job interview. It feels so much better to think of other people wearing the nice pieces instead of me just seeing them sit stagnant in my house. Gosh, this was a lot of talk about little hairbands. Hope it wasn't too much rambling. I just really appreciated Brooke's gentle approach and wanted to share it with you in case you find it helpful. If you do, please comment and let me know because I'm planning to share our discussion about the VHS tapes too.